it's slowly hitting me. Yeah, that's not good anymore. As any birder from the states bordering Canada will tell you, the winters here are cold. However, not all days are created equal in terms of weather. With temperatures in the Midwest at times dropping well below zero, what kind of person would be brave enough or stupid enough to go out in sub-zero temperatures looking for birds? Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Badgerland Birding, and today it is absolutely freezing out with a sub-zero wind chill, and I am at the Madison Arboretum in Dane County, looking to see what kind of birds I can find on this cold day, and to see how they're surviving and what they're doing, if they're hunkering down or if they're actively feeding. So come with me, and we'll see if we can find some birds, just be glad that you're not out here. While I voluntarily headed out into the cold, birds and other wildlife don't have much of a choice in the matter. I was very curious to see how many species I could find, along with how these species were dealing with the conditions. I was also interested to see who would fare better out in the frigid air, me or the birds. It actually doesn't feel that bad at first. When you go out, it doesn't feel that bad. And then, yep, it's slowly hitting me. Yeah, that's not good anymore. There's not a lot of wind right now, at least, though. Red tail hawk right off the bat, just heard it. I immediately got eyes on a soaring red tailed hawk. Shortly after, I encountered a bird that migrates south to winter in the Midwest, the American tree sparrow. When I first got out of the car, it seemed fairly nice out, but when the wind hits, it's absolutely brutal and any exposed skin just gets frozen immediately. I did see a red-tailed hawk already and an American tree sparrow. Also ran into a few birders that said there is nothing out here, so we're gonna see if there's anything that we can find. But uh, so far, a couple birds. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to last out here though. I continued walking the length of the arboretum through great looking habitat, but no birds in sight. Eventually, I got to an area with numerous pine trees that proved to have some hardy bird species present. Got to the part of the arboretum that has some pine trees, got a crow, and some blue jays. Really pretty bird in the winter. That blue really stands out against the white. And this one was nice enough to perch on top of a tree for me, so that was nice. Temperature-wise, I was forced to put my hood up. Uh, a lot of heat was escaping from my jacket, so it's still really cold out here, but there are a few birds, and hopefully there's a few more too. I made my way to a trail that leads past some springs. There, I noticed more American crows. This species migrates south from Canada in the winter, but it's well equipped to survive the cold of the northern United States. One of the reasons this species can survive this climate so well is the wide variety of foods in their diet, including seeds, fruit, insects, carrion, and small animals. These individuals were actively feeding on berries and didn't seem bothered by the temperature at all. I kept walking the trail through the woods, picking up a red-bellied woodpecker before getting to the open water of the spring. Here, ice crystals had formed near the water's edge and steam was rising from the difference between the temperature of the air and water. Taking advantage of the open space were two duck species. The mallard, a tough species widespread across the country in winter, and the gadwall. Most gadwalls leave the north when it gets cold, opting to live in the southern United States and Mexico. However, some of them end up staying as long as they can find open water. This particular group is known for living in the springs of the Arboretum during this time of the year, and I was glad to see them still thriving. Found a couple species down in that trail, but I am starting to get really cold. My nose is freezing, my hands are freezing, and I'm a good ways away from the car. So I'm gonna start heading back and maybe I'll see some more species on the way or freeze. Throughout my time in the Arboretum, I had seen the tracks of a familiar game bird. On my way back, I finally caught up with the bird itself, the wild turkey. Wild turkeys live in most parts of the United States and do not migrate. They feed primarily on plant matter, so the snow and ice covering the ground can present a bit of an obstacle. To get around this problem, 
Turkeys will often dig into the ground in order to uncover seeds and nuts. They will also eat buds, mosses, and uncovered seeds and berries. These turkeys were feasting on the fruit on the trees of the arboretum. Some of them even climbed the trees, making for an interesting sight. Those turkeys were really cool. They were feeding up in the tree. Some of them were down below the tree getting the berries that fall off. And then the other ones were actually up there picking the berries right out of the tops of the branches. So that was a really neat experience to see those turkeys up close. They're actually a really pretty bird, very iridescent on the feathers. So glad I was able to get those looks at them. With both my hands and my camera near frozen, I made my way toward the car. Nearing the parking lot, I noticed one more species, the dark-eyed junco. Much like the American tree sparrows I found earlier, dark-eyed juncos move into the United States in winter. They are one of the most common birds found between November and March, and often visit bird feeders. These individuals were happily flitting around the shrubs near the parking lot. After just a few minutes of watching the juncos, I went back to the car, feeling thankful to crank up the heat. Made it back to the car after about an hour and 15 minutes of birding in the sub-zero temperatures. Did see a good amount of birds collectively, uh, but not as many as there have been on some other days that I've been out. But it was interesting to see these birds foraging, and they still all seemed very active even in this cold weather. It seemed like a lot of the species that I saw were the ones that were in good habitat or in good places to get food. So this was a very interesting experience. I don't know that I want to go out in the cold anytime soon, but I would say it was worth it. It was quite the experience braving the conditions and birding in the sub-zero temperatures. While the cold can certainly take a toll on some species, all of the birds I came across seemed to be perfectly fine with foraging and going about their usual routines. Experiencing the freezing temperatures firsthand gave me a lot of respect for the species that live in the northern parts of the world. And if I'm being totally honest, I know it won't be the last time I go out in the cold to find them. But until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.